Now calligraphy can be divided on the basis of time frame, supplies and scripts. Also there, uh, there are uh, many different forms and types of calligraphy but we are going to just uh, go through uh, a few terms so that you don't get confused while choosing between a particular style or a particular script while learning. So on the basis of time frame, calligraphy can either be modern or traditional calligraphy. Traditional calligraphy involves all the old uh, styles and scripts of calligraphy which involve a particular writing instrument and a particular angle and uh, so on. So it is very elegant and sophisticated and it was used as a method of writing uh, written communication uh, in the old ancient periods of time. So for example, copper plate script, Spenserian script, they are a few traditional scripts uh, in pointed pen calligraphy. So for example, in copper plate calligraphy, you need to have uh, a specific angle of 45 degrees or 55 degrees and even the uh, height and width and the spacing between the letters and the uh, creation of the letters of the alphabet, we do have a lot of rules in that copper plate script. So this is one of the traditional scripts that is in pointed pen calligraphy. We also have other scripts like Devanagari which is uh, in Hindi language which is actually used in languages, Indian languages like Hindi, Sanskrit and other such languages and we do have a lot of uh, such other traditional scripts in different different languages. However, modern calligraphy is all about having fun and developing your own style. So although modern calligraphy involves a few set of guidelines and a few set of basic rules that need to be followed, but they are just, uh, uh, they just work as a guideline, uh, as a base for forming all the letters and words and sentences in general. We are free to experiment with our own style. We can either write in uh, you know, 90 degrees straight or we can cursive it. We can use any angle and uh, we can use any uh, amount of spaces, heights and widths in the letters. We can also add flourishes and designs. So basically we just have to uh, follow the basic rules uh, in modern calligraphy which actually guides us and helps us to form the letters and words words and after that we can uh, simply form our own style and have fun around modern calligraphy. So this is the basic difference between traditional and modern calligraphy. Now calligraphy can also be categorized on the basis of the supplies or the writing instrument used. So in that case calligraphy is of four types which is brush calligraphy, pointed pen calligraphy, broad edge calligraphy and four calligraphy. So brush calligraphy basically involves the use of paint brush or a brush pen. So a brush pen is basically a pen with a brush, a paint brush kind of a tip which is soft and flexible and uh, which uh, can be used with different variations of pressure to make the thin and thick down stroke. So that is known as brush calligraphy or brush pen calligraphy. Now pointed pen calligraphy involves use of a pointed pen or uh, you know uh, a straight holder with nib and ink which is assembled later and that's how we make a pointed pen so that is used in pointed pen calligraphy so the copper plate script that we talked about earlier is uh, one of the very uh, widely used traditional scripts in pointed pen calligraphy now talking about broad edge calligraphy it involves a broad uh, edge pen which is a pen with a flat nib so like uh, in brush pen calligraphy and in pointed pen calligraphy we were uh, making the different strokes with variation in the pressure but we don't uh, basically apply uh, much pressure on in broad edge calligraphy we just reposition the nib for making the different strokes so that is a totally different kind of uh, subject now talking about for calligraphy the word for means fake and hence uh, this form of calligraphy is a very modern style wherein you can fake the thin and thick down strokes using your regular pen or pencil so basically this form of calligraphy is widely used when you want to uh, do calligraphy write uh, stylized letters using different uh, some other kind of supplies like a regular marker or Posca pens or paint pens. So this is usually used in uh, chalk lettering or chalk boards or you know graffiti etc. So these were the four types of calligraphy 
uh, categorized on the basis of the writing instrument being used. Now talking about calligraphy uh, division on the basis of scripts, now to be honest there are many many traditional scripts in the calligraphy world and I am not the right person to talk about scripts in detail but I know a few scripts in pointed pen calligraphy like uh, copper plate scripts, pensarian and penmanship and in broad edge calligraphy there is structure, black letter and gothic style as well and uh, there is also another script that I am currently practicing is the Devanagari script which is an ancient Indian uh, script which is used in uh, languages like Sanskrit, Hindi, Bengali and much more. So there are many more uh, traditional scripts and in this course we are not going to dive deep into the scripts we are going to learn about modern uh, calligraphy in detail.